What's going on everyone? It's Air, and in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to level up your character. I can't say properly, but I should say, you know, basic tips that you can not waste your resources or at least try to not, um, like, hold on to your um, resources and level them up as soon as you can. So we're going to take a look at, um, well, level 90 is the cap for right now. I don't know if they're going to increase the cap in the future. Okay, so let's take a look at, um, because a lot of people, you know, if you are, jet, if you just started, you'll probably wonder why these icons right here, some are lit up and some are not. So we're gonna, t let's take a look at a max level, level 90. I have him four stars, I, I was lucky, I was able to pull him twice, and basically, you s if it's SS Heroes, you start off at three stars. And you can see S Hero will start with two stars, and A rank will be one star. Okay, but A rank is very common, and um, S rank is also very common, so you can upgrade them easily. So if you were to upgrade them, you will have to press this arrow here, and it'll tell you what equipment you would need. So for um, S and A, it's easier, because you just need these. But if you're looking at SS here, you will need to have the same heroes shards of this many. So at Three stars or four stars would be 80 with all these um, memory stones and all these uh, shards here. So that's how you level them up. So if you don't have enough, then you cannot upgrade them. Okay, so next, when upgrading your stars, that does not increase their stats here. Only leveling up would increase their stats, equipment, and awakening. So this is the awakening tree here, which you get their bonus. So after level 90, this and the equipment is the only way to bring them to a different level. So when do you, okay, let's say you're lucky, okay, free to play or not, if free to play, you won't be able to upgrade them right away anyways. But if you're pay to play and you are lucky enough and got them, you know, with a lot of memory stones, um, the duplicate shards, I don't know if they call this, okay, memory, okay. If you have a lot of them ready, then you'll be like, hmm, so some people will be like, okay, because all of gacha is like you get a six stars, that's when they are like the strongest. They'll be like, okay, I can do this. I'm just going to keep leveling up, get to six stars. Okay, maybe you should slow down. The reason why it's, well, again, if you're pay to play, it might be a little bit different. But even if you're lucky for as a free to play player, you will have to slow down a little bit. So now you can look at the tree here. Um, first, what you want to do when you level your tree is all these trees you will need to use your memory stone there's a it says a and some you need well a different color you'll see that you're using um, not this one this one here you have to use s as from s class and then now you have some that you have to use even higher ones such as right here ss okay so first when you upgrade you will be like, okay, what do I upgrade? Eventually, you upgrade the whole tree once you have the resources. But when you don't have in the beginning, what do you focus on? So, what you can see here, they usually just give you a few selections here, block right here. Every character is different because some gives you attack, some gives you like HP. So, what do you focus on? So, every in general, when we split into different um, classes, Dealer would be damage, crit, and HP. That's what we want to focus. Tanker, you want to focus on block, HP, debuff, resist. Support would be HP. Debuffer would be accuracy and HP. Healer would be HP. So the rest, be dealer, it's very obvious. You want to deal as much damage as possible. Tanker, you want to tank as like, many hits as possible. And support, all you need to do is have HP because you're just buffing your team. So as long as you don't die, you're doing your job. Debuffer, such as Flame Cone here, he, accuracy is very important because every time you want to hit your debuff, the higher accuracy you are, the higher you can, and you want a lot of HP. So block rate is not so important when it comes to him because, well, because I put him at my third slot, he's not going to get hit until much later. So I would want him to focus on a debuffing against the enemy. And a healer, all you need to do is stay alive and keep healing um, the team, so HP would be the obvious, um, whatchamacallit, thing to level up. Okay, so when you also level up a hero, you'd be like, okay, there's so many things here, so what is this and that? So, 
Of course, you can click on it and show it shows what you increase um, level up. So first, you want to do is in general, in general, um, you want to level up your passive one. You want to get passive one because passive one is your permanent stats. So every hero you want not every there's some heroes i'm just not so sure so i don't want to give out like false information there's some heroes you don't do that but anyways i'm going to explain first so most heroes you want to do is passive one passive two get these two and then you start getting your relic here so these are getting passive down here you see the question mark is your relic relic is your card where you can also increase your stat yeah so equipment awakening tree and relics Okay, so you want to get the both passive and then you want to get the relics. So usually it's passive 1, 2, relic 1. And then relic 2 is basically when you have, you know, enough relics for them to equip. Just, I mean, you don't have to rush it, it's up to you. If you do have enough um, material, resources, go for it. And of course, you some heroes, um, you can do passive 1 and then get your relic and then passive 2. There's specific characters, there's so many characters, so I won't explain in this video. And then some situation where you get your passive one, and then you're like, oh, I have a very, very strong relic that he can equip. So I want to get that relic first. Because relic gives you a lot of stats as well. Okay, so far it makes sense. So that is the basic. So don't, because these are very valuable. They're very hard to obtain. And you don't want to just waste them. Like, oh, I don't even need any block, but I'm going to just, you know, open this tree here. No, that you're just wasting your um, stones here. Okay, so this is like three stars. Okay, so when so when do I do four star, five star, six star? So now you have to check. So you can see here, this one lit up is a different color. So this one, even though it's uh, lit up, you can see four stars. This is when you have four stars. You can unlock these once you have enough resources. And then later on, you will see you need five stars. And then you would need six stars. So these here, you need them. You need to level them up. For, for right now, if you don't have enough um, memory stones here, you don't even worry about it. Don't bother. So for him, it's a special case because he doesn't have EA skills. So when it comes to heroes with um, EA skills like Bam here. Okay, so now this is a really good example. So. Bam, some heroes is very unique. Now they have E skills. E skills is like the um, the special that you use in the beginning of the game. When you start the game, uh, there's a lot of main characters you can use their um, E skill. So there's skill 1 here and skill 2. So this is a stronger version of this one. And skill 1 here basically um, you need 40 of the memory shards from the hero. And you also need to have him at four stars. So first requirement is get him to four stars, and then we can start thinking about this one. So you actually need a lot of shards in order to unlock the EX. And later you need five stars. And now on the other side, some characters have it, some don't, and you have this um, exclusive relic, it's their best relic, and now you need another 80 stone and six stars. So if you are only like in the beginning, I'm telling you, if you have, whenever you can get that E skill, get it. Because now you only need four stars, and it's a game changer. They're just really, really strong. And remember, you need 80. So make sure you don't level him up to like five stars, and then you're like, oh shit, now I, I don't have enough to get his E skill. So you got to be really careful. You know, for now, I'm aiming to level him up to four stars, and then after, I only want that 40 shards. To get this EX skill. So that's the basic. So yeah, I, I have some friends, they are they are play to play, uh, but they're not spending a lot of money, so they got lucky and they already have him at six stars, but they haven't unlocked any of this. So now they're slowly farming it back. So they're doing kind of like backwards. Well, um, that's why they're kind of stuck when I'm already advancing a lot. Okay, so next would be, we talk about this here, up here, Awakening Bonus. In the beginning of the video, video I was talking about, you know how you can see some of these icons are lit up and some are not. 
So when these are lit up, you can go here and click Awaken and Passive. You can see these here, these benefit everyone who has this icon on them. Um, oh, where the hell? Okay, we're gonna go back. So how do we awaken this? This is very straightforward. Basically, um, basically it forces you to unlock everything in the tree. So this requires 22 of these stats to unlock it. So once you unlock it, you will get this. And then now all these type of um, heroes will get extra 200 HP and so on. And then if you do it, you know, the more characters you can do it, the stronger he gets. Okay, so now you'll be like, hmm, then if we don't spend money, how are we going to get those um, hero shards, right? So of course, getting hero shards one way would be in the um, hero dungeon here. Oops. Here, by clearing all these, for now in the beginning, number three is the one you can get shards. Other than that, you can get more from clearing these, and you can repeat it, uh, farming them every single day. So other than that, you'd be like, oh, is there any other way? Yes, there is. Now, what you do is you can go to, um, well, let's go to Portal first. So go to Portal, you will see that there's a lot of shards that you can exchange, not really buy, because you, you know, when you have these here, let's say I want BAM. Okay, so whatever gold ones you have here, you can exchange for them the same ratio until the 30th one so once you see the 30th one it becomes two for one that's why when I max this it doesn't say 46 so this is where you can get your shards memory oh my god it's like I don't know which one is shards which one is memory it's very confusing so this is where you can get them so that also comes to the Awake tree here, same thing. If you're not having enough of um, A here, here is the S one and the S one. If you don't have enough of these, you can farm them. The you know from playing the game every day, um, from the story, from the world here, all these um, events. But they're very slow. So now we go back to inventory here and we go to exchange. You should all do this. There's so many characters in this game, and in the beginning, I think nothing is more important than clearing the story, both normal and hard mode, and just try to advance as far as possible. And for example, there's just so many heroes here, different color represent different um, class. This one would be a, um, I think the red looking one. Oh, the silver looking one is SS, no S here. Yep, and then now you see the gold one is SS. So characters you are not going to use. There's no point of holding their memory stones here. You can just salvage it and then you can use it for your tree. You can use it for trading your um, character. Then you can max, you can level them up ASAP. So this I can help with the tree. Or if I'm actually building an S heroes now I can use it to trade for more memory stones and that's pretty much it when it comes to um, leveling up their um, stats so what's next after you basically you know you have six stars you max all this so before you max them you'll be like okay I'm still stuck is there any way I can you know get even stronger because, you know, farming shards sucks. It's going to take forever to get a six stars and to fill up this tree. And yes, there is. These are the skills. And these skills here, these are passive. You can see the P, the passive one. Once you get them, they stay the way it is. But if you can see here, there is different levels where you can level up your skills. There are five levels for each. So you can max them by farming the, you know, getting these materials. These are the firestone. And then, of course, this colorful crystals that you would always need to level up. And, you know, now you can get them to even higher, which you'll deal more damage. So, you know, one, two, three would be one chain, two chain, and three chain. So when it comes to three chain, of course, it requires you... Oops, I just pressed the example of the skill. It gives you... It requires more um, of the material. 
So now, now you have to know your character really well and your own team. So let's say I don't have a lot of chance to use the one chain. I have more chance to use two chain and three chain. And some skills are, they're all worth it. They're all worth it to level up, but you kind of have to know which one to level up in order. For me, I use the second one a lot. And you really have to read and again, different team has different strategy. So for me, if I use him, I feel like second is the best because now you deal more damage and it stacks, the burn stacks. So I think that's very important. And one is like, it's good. And now it buffs the whole team. And I feel like three gives me the least chance to use when it comes to higher level. So you really need to know, know um, your character. So every character is different and everyone has different play styles. So there's no like, you should do this or you should do that. And here would be, okay, if I do this one, I can level it up and then I can heal more, you know, HP for myself, etc. So that is it. So last thing I'm gonna let you guys know is that if you guys are wondering where you can get these materials, you can get them um, mainly you can get them from guild store exchanging support with your guild mates. Um, you'll get it from a lot of the world dailies that you do and last but not least you can get it from the story heart mode. Okay, so we go you can farm them every single day but it limits you how many. For example, this is hard and we're gonna go region info. Now you're gonna check. Okay, so chapter nine, none of this. Okay, actually, there's this is the one that Kun uses. So I can keep farming this one, but it only allows you. Okay, it actually shows you how many times you can farm. I think it depends how many stars you have. The more stars you have, you can actually farm it. I think right now I only have one, so it won't let me keep farming. So I'm gonna go somewhere that I already been farming, which would be level A A5 here. I also need a lot of these for level one, and then I come here. And now, well, I already did it, that's why. Uh let me find a better example. Sorry guys. Okay. What? Why it won't let me repeat? I don't get it. Did I farm them all already? Okay, I'm Oh, you can only farm 10 in total for hard. I get it now because I farmed 10 already. Oh, you can't farm more than 10 each. Like total, you can only farm 10 for hard. Okay, that makes your process much slower, of course. And don't forget to claim these if you see these lying around. So anyway, so that's basically where you can farm these and you just have to do them slowly every single day. That is it for the video. I hope you guys find this helpful. Um, so pretty much don't waste your resources on unnecessary things. Um, use things that you, use resources that you need like, but plan accordingly. You know that you need this, so save these, blah, blah, blah. And my last, um, oh, last advice is that if you are summoning, let's say if you're waiting for a banner or whatever, because there's a date to this, don't bother like summon like save enough for 10 multi otherwise you're not you're wasting a chance so you need 11 so let's say here my next one i guarantee summon for a pickup hero so either one of these guys i'm gonna get so if you're saving for a specific specific banner get 110 summon then you're going to guarantee i, I mean you'll probably get lucky in between and get one of each like one of each or either one of or but then you want to make sure you get this here and now you're going to get another one for 110 summit. All right guys, so that's it. Um, once again, if you find this helpful and you do like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.